welcome to our crazy life Scotland and a Nasda grocery haul. I've not done one of these since, oh, well, before the lockdown started anyway, because the shops kind of went a bit strange at the start of lockdown. You couldn't get anything you wanted and because I wasn't eating properly at all. But I'm back on keto as of today, which is Monday the 1st of June. So I've got a massive haul. There is some keto friendly food, there's some family food and some non-food items as well. And in total I spent £167. Ouch! I've said it in other vlogs, I'm sure the supermarkets have put their prices up sneakily during the lockdown and I think it's very unfair, especially since a lot of people haven't got money just now. But I'm not going to rant on about that, it's not what I'm here for. Let's just get into the haul. Right, let's start with the good stuff, all the nice keto friendly meats and things. So I got some lamb's liver, now I know it's not to everybody's taste but liver is very very good for you and both Jack and I like it and it's quite inexpensive as well, £1.29 for that and there's lots and lots of liver in there. Oh, I might have guessed, there he is, hey Ranach, it's not yours, sorry. Um, I got some good old chicken breast fillets and these are just brilliant on keto, they're very versatile for keto and for the family as well. I got the Asda beef burgers with red onion and cheese. Now, not the cleanest of product if you're right into clean keto because it does have, where is it? It does have some muscovado sugar and some rice flour in it. However, per 100 grams, which is uh, just under a burger, there's only 2.7 grams of carbs. So I do let myself have one of these burgers um, on keto as long as I've had a, a lowish carb day. It's entirely up to yourself whether you want to or not but obviously you could make carbohydrate free burgers just by using normal mince. However, sometimes it's nice to have something made for you and it's these are really really tasty. I've had these quite a lot. Just having the cheese and onion through it's very nice. I got the Oak Smoked Dry Cured Gammon Steaks. Now there's two in this pack and I got two of these because me, Abby and Jack will eat these so we'll have one each and I'll freeze the other one for another day. There's the other pack. I got some pork belly slices for me. Now I'm the only one who eats these and Jack and Abby aren't eating with me tomorrow night so I'm going to have one of these beauties for my dinner tomorrow night and I will freeze the rest of them. £3.36 for four big pieces of pork belly slices. Yum! A keto staple, some smoky bacon, eh, some streaky bacon even, smoked streaky bacon. £2.25 for the 20, eh, 16 rashers. Again, I'm sure that's gone up. But a nice breakfast staple. Now, tonight's treat, we got steak. So I got that one for Abby. That's a rump steak. I got this one for Jack because it's got very little fat on it and Jack doesn't like fat at all on his meat. And this one for me, wait till you see this. <gasps> Look at that ribeye with all that gorgeous fat marbling through it. I cannot wait to get stuck into that tonight. That is what's keeping me going on my first day back on keto. The thought of having that steak later. <laughs> but here... I've got some of the Asda Extra Special Roast Chicken Stock. This is brilliant either just as a hot drink or as a soup. Just add some cream and some cooked chicken to it and you've got a lovely chicken soup. And per 100 mils, there's zero grams of carbs in it. So I do like that. These are actually not for me. They are keto friendly because there's zero grams of carbs in them. The sardines and brine. They're high in omega-3. I don't like these. We have got these because we've got, uh, we live right across the road from a beach and we've bought a lobster trap. So we've bought these as bait for the lobsters. Um, but I thought I would include them in this haul because they are very keto friendly. And I'm running low on sweetener. So this is my sweetener of choice. I get the Truvia, which is basically um, from Stevia, which is a natural sweetener. And when we look at the ingredients, erythritol and Stevia. So I am more than happy to have that on keto. Very keto friendly. I don't use it very often, to be honest, because I use skinny syrups in my coffee. But every now and again, if I'm having a sweet treat and you need sweetener, that's what I will use. 
I got this as a snack. It's the Madison Smoked Pork Sausage with a hint of garlic. These are ready to eat. They're a brilliant snack. Per 53 grams serving, there are 0 0.85 grams of carbs. So I'm more than happy to have that as a snack. It's good as a lunch or even as an on-the-go snack. You can have it all hot or cold. So if you're having to nip out somewhere but you know you're going to need something to eat, that's perfect. Although it is garlic, so you need to bear that in mind if you're going to be speaking to anybody important. Another staple on keto is eggs. I got this half a dozen Happy Egg Company um, free-range eggs for a pound and six mixed size eggs. And yep, I'm looking forward to getting back into my bacon and eggs in the morning. Now, I did get two packs of these. There's one already in the fridge. I'm not going to say the words. You can see there what it is because one pack is for the dogs. We freeze them and the dogs get one each a day as a treat. As long as they're uncooked, it's okay to give them to the dogs because the bones won't splinter. It's only when you cook it that the bones splinter. So I got one pack that gets frozen for the dogs and this pack is going to be seasoned nicely and popped in the oven and it's just going to be snacks for me to nibble on through the week. Over here, wait now, I've got a big bear in my road. Uh, Ranach, Ranach, can you move please? Move, come on, move. Right, getting into the dairy. I got a big block of mozzarella cheese, which is perfect. I used to get it grated but I can grate it myself and um, basically save it on the carbs. This has got 1.6 grams of carbs per 100 grams. I got some halloumi which I am going to have with my gammon steak. I'm going to have gammon steak with a fried egg and some halloumi for my dinner one night this week and that is 2.3 grams of carbs per 100 grams so I like just a couple of slices of halloumi fried in butter oh so nice especially with the likes of gammon steak and this is the butter that I'm talking about of course Kerrygold pure Irish butter it is the best butter ever and perfect for keto I've always got stocks of that in the fridge now I got this to try with my steak tonight so it's Kerry made garlic spreadable butter and I thought that would be lovely just melted on my steak. So the ingredients are not, but well, palm oil, boo. But other than that, it's basically butter, water, garlic. There's nothing nasty in it. Uh, zero sugars. So that's perfectly fine. I got cheese strings twisted. I got the eight pack. These are fantastic as a snack. And again, a grab and go snack at that. And Per cheese string, it's 0 0.5 grams of carbs. And I got two big tubs of the Asda Double Cream, which is uh, the equivalent of heavy whipping cream in America. That's 1.6 grams of carbs per 100 grams. And I have that every day in my coffee. So I got two big tubs of that. Now, I got these to have with our chicken. This one's actually for Jack. I got Jack the Medium, Nando's Peri Peri Marinade. I've got Jack the Medium and I've got Abby and I, the lemon and the herb, extra mild because we are roosties when it comes to heat. And the carbs, again, not the cleanest ingredients. There is sugar in it and there's some other nasty bits and pieces. However, per serving, there are 1.2 grams of carbs. So it's not something that I would use all the time, but just to kind of jazz up your chicken now and again those chicken breasts that I've showed you earlier will be lovely with some of this on it I also got now I don't eat very much fruit because fruit is um, most fruits very very high in natural sugar however berries are fine on keto I've not got this for myself it's actually for Brooke but they are fine on keto so I got some a nice big pack of strawberries for Brooke and I also got a pack of watermelon fans these are Again, watermelon isn't too high in sugar compared to most fruits. 3.8 grams of carbs per 100 grams. So I wouldn't spend the carbs on them, but some people like to, and that's fine. This veg is mostly for Jack, but every now and again I will have some of it as well. And it's a Mediterranean-style vegetables. It has got... It's got red onion, courgette, cherry tomatoes, red peppers, yellow peppers, rapeseed oil, and basil dressing. And that's pretty much it. Uh, lemon juice and for half the pack there's eight grams of carbs if I ever do have any of it it would be a quarter excuse me it would be a quarter of the pack at the most um, but it is nice to have every now and again 
this week I'm going to try to stay away from veg as much as possible. I'm going to be carnivore-ish and pretty much just have meat and dairy and eggs. Right, so on to the not so good stuff now. The family friendly and other diet friendly food that I won't be having but Jack and Abby and group will. So, I got the pack of carrot, butternut squash and green beans. That serves too and just goes in the microwave for four and a half minutes. Really perfect, easy veg size for them. And similarly, the pack of carrot and peas as well. Six minutes or under in the microwave. That's the sort of cooking that I like. This is something that I have been having recently, but won't be now that I'm back on keto. And that's a cheesy mash. Again, serves too and goes in the microwave. You can see where I'm going with this. You can see the kind of cook that I am. And I also got them the skinny cut vegetable chips. This has got carrot, sweet potato and normal potato chips. Abby got some steak lawn sausage. This is the best sausage in the world. Unfortunately, it's not keto friendly and you can only get it in Scotland. A lot of people think it looks like burgers, but that's it there. It's basically sausage, but instead of being a link, it's a square shape and it is delicious on a roll with butter. But I'm not going to think about that because I am not going to be eating it. These are also delicious if you're not keto and that's the Asda crispy potato slices. These just go in the oven. These are for Abby and Brooke as well. Now for half a pack there are 210 calories just in case you do do calorie counting. I just said do do. Um, I got a cheeseburger for Abby's lunch. That's one of the microwave ones. They love them. These are for the dogs as well. We've got two packs of these because these are their sort of training treats and just in general, if um, they've been good puppies, they get one of these. And I'm not going to say it because if I say it, they'll want it. These are not really keto friendly because they've got all sorts of, um, what have they got in them? Wheat flour and rapeseed oil and dextrose and basically 13 grams of carbs for 100 grams which is really high. Uh, cheese and tomato pizza for Brooke. That's pretty much the only food she's eating right now, but let's not go there. Um, I got these for Jack. It's the light and free yogurt. I got them the lemon ones and the strawberry ones. These are 53 calories a pot or 55 calories a pot if you do calorie counting and they're 0% fat. They will be full of sugar. Well, it says 0% added sugar, but there will still be a lot of sugar in it naturally, I would think. Let's have a wee look, actually. 7.8 grams of carbs per serving, so no, I wouldn't be having one of these, but it's up to yourself. Some semi-skimmed milk. I got two of these for Abby and Brooke, not for Abby and Brooke, for Brooke and Jack for their breakfast in the morning. And... I don't drink fruit juice, obviously, because it is full of sugar. Even when I'm not keto, I totally grudge the amount of sugar that is in fresh fruit juice. But the girls love it. So we got two pineapple juice, an orange juice and an apple juice in the back there. Right, cupboard products. I got these microwave ready gravy pots. Now, again, I don't eat them because gravy is not very keto friendly, I wouldn't think. So... Per pot, there are 5.1 grams of carbs. So I suppose you could if you wanted, but it's full of maize starch and maize and rapeseed oil and glucose syrup and nasty stuff like that. But this is perfect because Abby and Jack do like meat now and again. It do like meat. Do like gravy now and again with their dinner. And it's just in a pot. You shove it in the microwave for a minute and it's ready to go. Rather than measuring out granules and adding water and making sure it doesn't go lumpy and all the rest of it. Right, so Tana Bran, that is for Jack's breakfast. He loves that in the morning. He puts some honey on it um, with his milk and really enjoys that. Knickknacks, nice and spicy. We've got two packs of these because both girls really enjoy these as a snack. Some stuff for the treat drawers. Tr uh, I was going to say chocolate digesters because that's what I've been eating for the last few weeks, but no, normal digestives. These are for Abby. Brooke likes her chocolate hazelnut crepes. A pack of four Aero peppermint Aeros, that's what I was trying to say. I think it's only a pound for them, which isn't bad. And also a pound for the four pack of dairy milk. A pound for the six pack of Freddos, which Brooke loves. And 50 pence for a pack of the Oreo double cream um, biscuits. Now, this is my point about, oh, I'm not going to get started on a rant, but 
If the government want people to eat healthy, why do they make a massive pack of biscuits 50 pence and a pack of chicken nearly four pound? They really need to get it sorted. Anyway, I'm not going to go on for the rant. We got some bread, the girls like the King's Mill 50-50 and got some rolls over there. Abby's already had one for her square sausage that she's away eating just now. Over to the drinks and non-food. That's us almost done, you'll be pleased to hear. I got myself some 7 Up Free with cherry. I love this stuff. It is so, so tasty. It doesn't really taste the cherry, but it definitely has more flavour than normal 7-Up. I usually have a can of that going to my bed at night. I got four of these Pepsi Max raspberries, my favourite drink in the whole entire world right now. Um, no added sugar, orange and mango diluting juice. That is for Jack and the girls. I won't be drinking that. Abby likes her Apple Blast Lucozade, so she got a pack of that. I certainly won't be having that. There's probably about three days worth of carbs in one bottle of that. The Volvic Touch of Fruit Sugar-Free Lemon and Lime. This is keto-friendly. I got it for Jack, but I actually had a look at it. And it's sweetened with SK and sucralose, so it's perfectly um, keto-friendly. And there are zero, less than 0 0.5 grams of carbs in a serving, so definitely keto-friendly. Right, now on to the sort of non-usual things. This is still drink, but... This is actually for my mum's birthday. Granny Annie will have her birthday in a couple of weeks. So we got her this Blossom Hill Gin Fizz. And it's a bubbly blend of crisp white wine, botanically infused water and a dash of gin. So Granny Annie, as you may know, loves her gin. But she's really quite enjoying a wee wine now and again. So I thought that would be perfect for her. And that was only £4 for the bottle. So we've got her that as a wee birthday surprise. The non-food things now. We got some soap because we're all going through so much soap at the moment with washing our hands all the time. We got Colgate Total Toothpaste for Brooke because she's needing more toothpaste. She actually gets special stuff from the dentist but the dentists are closed at the moment and she's ran out so I've just got her that. Jack was needing some shaving gel so I got him the Gillette Shave Gel. Now... I got some gel pens. It was £1.50 for the pack of 10 gel pens and I got these for my adult colouring in which I'm loving and I spoke about in my recent crafty chat video which I will link for you in case you've not seen it and if you're into crafts or looking for a new hobby check that out. Abby and I both got sunglasses so these are mine. They look like that and they've got lovely chain style legs on them and Abby got these ones of black sort of marble plastic frames and these were six pound each i will show you me with mine on in a minute i got a bra which we don't need to talk too much about that was five pounds and we've just had our main bathroom done up and it's a sort of gray color so i've got these we've got the toilet roll holder the soap dispenser and that's the toothbrush and toothpaste holder so I think they're lovely they'll be just perfect in that um, nice new bathroom and that's us here's the receipt I will show you so £167.51 that came to is it just me or is that expensive? Oh, the other thing that I did get that isn't here is I got Granny Annie two packs of Diet Coke with strawberry cans. Um, so that was the only other things that we got that you haven't seen. I just think that's really expensive. Oh, don't get me started, folks. Don't get me started. <laughs> and this is me in the shades. So that's what they look like. I quite like them. They're not too bad. Um, right, well, that's everything that I got from Asda this week. I hope you've enjoyed this little haul. Please comment down below what's your favourite thing from this haul or to get from Asda. And please hit the thumbs up button if you've enjoyed this. Subscribe if you haven't already. It's completely free. And if you hit the bell notification, it'll let you know every time I upload another video. And I will see you in our next one. Thanks very much, everybody. Bye!